What's good, y'all? I was trying to make it seem like, like you know, like, like, like y'all lagged. My fault. Uh, what's good, y'all? It's two you fork back with another vid. You know? Yeah, it's two you fork back with another vid. Now, oh my God, bro, I gotta get this right. Just gotta make sure y'all can see my face. You know, for the girls that that be looking at the vids. You know, I know y'all trying to hit up the Insta. I know y'all trying to hit up the DM. You trying to see like. Bro, is it really like, does he really look this good? Yes, 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 I do. And I look even better in person. I look even better in videos. Like, bro, like, I just look good at anything. That's just, that's just me. Like, my facial structure is on point, too. Come on. Uh, But, yeah, I really hope, like, my heater wasn't too loud. Like, y'all couldn't hear me in my reaction. Which, if y'all didn't know, I do reaction videos. Go check my channels list. I do reactions. Uh, What's called... I, mean, I do all that. Come on, bro. Go check. Go check. Go check me out, bro. Like, go go check me out. Support, man. Support, please, please. But uh, yeah. I'm kidding. Like, I'm geeking right now. My fault, Gskis. My fault, gangs. Uh, but today we went to do a story time. This happened yesterday, bro. This happened yesterday. I was I I was gonna do it like on the day of, but I'm like nah. Like, I got reactions to do. I'm sorry, and I was tired. So. This re uh this story time is about the time me and my mom was finna smack this, not even smack, but like, what if he watches this? <sighs> That's tough. Uh, this is a story time um when me and my mom was finna get into a good fight inside of Popeyes. We wasn't even on that, but dude came out what's called all type of disrespect. All right, so on this day, right? Now I forgot what else we was doing on this day. I do know that this was, yeah. All right, so boom, I'm gonna start y'all off first, right? So, should I just start y'all off like what happened in the day? I'm gonna just I'm gonna just start y'all off like a quick start of what happened. So yesterday was Friday. So on Friday, right? Uh, basically I ain't had no school that day. You know I was chilling. I was just looking at how like they was working on our streets because as I told y'all, like they working on our streets and all this. Bro, Gene Stotter, you're fucking up. I ain't gonna lie, that's my mayor. Gene Stotter, you're fucking up. We did not need nothing on these streets. Now, am I complaining? Not really, because, like, it's been, like, a clean drive for me on these streets. So, it's like, thank you, but we didn't need this. But thank you again. So, yeah, basically, I was looking at them working on our streets, all this. Uh, Yeah, I was basically just living my life at home while y'all was at school, you know, probably doing work. That's tough. Uh, speaking of school, I got all A's right now. I feel like a brainiac, but, uh, yeah. So I was just doing all that now end up picking up my sister had to get gas, drive home. She ended up going to her dad house, all this, right? So me and my mom, we out chilling. Uh, we ended up going to hit some errands. So we went to Hobby Lobby. We went to go smell candles last time we was there we were smelling some essential oils my mom thought they smelled nice so we ended up going back again we went to go to hobby lobby get some shit we got a whole lot of candles bro i got her to get me this nice french toast one <laughs> shit smells so good uh but yeah so we went to hobby lobby then we end up being hungry so where where we go i thought we went somewhere else but all right so we were driving went to i could have sworn we went somewhere else before we went to popeye's we went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, we went to Kohl's. Yeah, we went to Kohl's because we were trying to get some uh some shit for my sister's birthday. My sister's birthday coming up. She gonna be old as shit. <laughs> but uh yeah, so boom. I'm trying to get some uh, shit for my sister's birthday. We end up getting nothing because my sister be picky with clothes and she only like certain colors. So it's like yeah, like we might as well have her pick it out. So we end up leaving. Now, my mom asked, like, am I hungry? Now, me personally, she said we was going to go home and cook up chicken wings and all this. Now, me personally, I was fine with that. Now, sometimes, like, nah. I was going to say something, but, like, I forgot what I was going to say. All right, so anyway, right? Like, so, she was like, do you want to get something to eat? Like, you want something out? All this. I was like, yes. You know, me personally, like. I'm going to get the chance. Like, if she's, like, saying, like, I can get something out to eat, like. I'm taking that chance. Like, I don't know. It's just something about home food. Home food really fills me up. But since like fast food is like fast and quick, it's like, bro, like it's already right there. Like, why don't we just go here? 
I gotta get out of that. But uh, yeah, so we go all the way to Popeyes. We go on the line now. This is what I love about Popeyes, bro. It's like at certain times, the line is clear. Nobody's at Popeyes. Thank you. All the Negroes, they're at home. Surprisingly, like, what are you doing? I am surprised. Like, I'm surprised. It's a Friday. Why aren't niggas at Popeyes, bro? Every, like, when it's Friday, everybody be at fast food restaurants. I'm surprised nobody's at Popeyes. And the other time, the line is going all the way out to the street. So this time, it's clear. Mom rolls in there. And this is a mini story time. So don't expect this to be too, super long. But yeah, so my mom rolls in there, right? Now, there always will be like, you really cannot hear people that like comes. What is that thing? Like, you know, like the square or rectangle and it tells you like the menu and like people talking out the intercom and all this. You really cannot hear people out of the intercom. They, I heard we gonna get to that, but you can't hear nobody out the intercom. So like she has to yell uh, what's called and all this. Right. So she was telling them to order. Uh, she started saying like my order. Now, what I begin is my five piece tenders, my uh, Cajun fries, Sprite. Uh, I really don't be caring if the tenders is spicy or not. And my, uh, what else do I begin? Oh, my biscuit. Like, it's a combo thing, right? So she was telling that to him. Uh, he was like, what'd you say? Like, he was like, the way he was saying it and he was yelling. So, like, he was like, what'd you say? And she was like, uh, the tenders and all this. And he was, and she was like, spicy. I know. He was like, what flavor do you want it? And she was like, spicy. And he was like, you said spicy? And she was like, yeah. And I, I don't know. Basically, like, they just, like, they were trying to figure out, like, what each other was saying, basically. That's all it was. And, like, he was like, that's, he was like, that's what I said. Like, the way he said it. It sounded like he was getting disrespectful. So, my mom, she don't be tolerating that shit. So, she was like, yo, she was like, do I need to come in there and what's called talk to you, talk to your manager? And he was like, yeah, I mean, like, you can. It's whatever, like. So I'm like, oh my God. So she said, okay. So she pulled around the car. She did her nice little swerve. I already knew what time it was. Cause when she starts driving recklessly like a NAS recklessly like a NASCAR driver, it's already on go. She's already on go, bro. So she does her little right turn to the wheel, left turn to the wheel, hurry ups and parks. And I knew it was serious because she didn't even park in the lines all the way. Um uh, she had her car all slanted. It wasn't even really in the lines. She was just trying to hurry up and get in there. So apparently she wants to talk to the manager or him on why he was being disrespect on um, disrespectful. So you just she was like you tr- you want to come in? I'm like mom, what is you doing? It's not even that serious. She was like no, cause he's not gonna disrespect me. I'm like oh my lord. So I'm like all right, you know what? Depending on who this nigga is, I know how niggas be. They might try to fight my mom. I can't go for that. Best believe you're not fighting my mother. Uh, but yeah. So I go in there and try to keep her calm. You know, so. She out here, we outside, it's cold as shit. She out here walking all fast, like she be striding. When it's something like serious, like she got disrespected, she mad, she striding, she like walking all fast. Now me personally, I'm still kinda injured. So it's like, bro, like, hold on. Like, I'm still kinda injured, wait for me. So I'm out here trying to hurry up and walk to her. She get into Popeyes, right? Now all of a sudden, uh, well, before we even, like, before we even walked in, I seen the nigga like he was looking outside like he had his headset on he was looking outside right after he said that uh he like at, right after he said like we can come in and talk to him or whatever he had his headset on and i saw him and he was looking through the uh the slide and window where he'd be giving out the food so we were walking in there all of a sudden uh he see us take off his headset pop out he said i ain't scared to fight nobody it's whatever or whatever he said he basically was trying to fight out here pulling up his pants he like i ain't scared of you I'll fight anybody, or whatever he said. So I'm just sitting there, like, like, bro. I just be sitting there doing them dumb faces, cause it's like, bro, like, like, what are you doing? I just came here to get my food. So you got the employees. They coming out there. Uh, she was like, uh, what's called? My mom basically explained the situation. Like, he's being disrespectful. All this. Now, one of the employees at the Popeyes, they know my mom. The, uh, my mom. So she basically like, yeah, I've been telling him to chill. All this and all that. Now I'm just, I'm just sitting there confused. Like, my nerves is shaking. I'm trying to figure out if I gotta fight him or not. Cause like me personally, like, I ain't come here for that. I just came here for my food. Like, bro, all I wanted was my five piece senders, and I don't even know if I'm finna get them or not. That's really what I'm worried about uh so yeah so uh the, the employees basically tell him like chill out like go outside take your break all this so he 
he uh grabs his phone and he just goes in the back i don't know what he does basically i just keep seeing him like around like uh i'm trying to get my drink i just keep seeing him walking around i'm thinking he finna sneak me so i gotta like i gotta stay on my pivot because if he sneak me it's over like i gotta turn up i can't let you sneak me bro and like you got like the uh there's like other customers there they eating this shit at the table i really don't be know who be eating at popeyes like if you're the type of person to, like go in and eat at popeyes I don't know, like, why are you eating at Popeye's? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so, he walking around the area. I'm trying to get my drink, but at the same time, I'm trying to look around, because if you sneak me, it's over. I, I have to turn up. Like, I can't I can't let you sneak me, bro. That's embarrassing. Like, I'm sitting here pouring out my Sprite. All of a sudden, <clears throat> get done. I'm sitting there laid up on the floor with my Sprite in my hand, and it's all over the ground. Now the, now the ground's going to be sticky. I feel bad for the custodian, the janitor. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, I'm watching around. He walking around, uh, mad as shit. It wasn't even that big of a deal. Apparently, uh, he was yelling because you can't like, like, basically, it's like a communication problem. Like the people outside, they can't hear you, so like they gotta speak up at the same time. No, the people that's inside of the Popeyes, they can barely hear you also. So that's why like most like people is like yelling and shit. So it was saying that they basically get us, um, uh, what's it called? They basically get us at the Popeyes type shit. Uh, they get us, what is that thing? They get us at the front desk. Uh, I know getting my Popeyes. I mean, I was basically full story time. My mom was basically, she was mad about that the whole day. I was telling her like, it wasn't even that big of a deal. But, uh, as the day started to come to a close, she started to realize like that was real deal stupid and she was actually starting to reflect on it like what if the nigga had a gun he shot me i'm like really he wouldn't do that because like it's in the plans like it's it's in the plans for me not to die right now it's like bro like i'm blowing up on insta like i'm blowing up on youtube i'm blowing up the music it's like i can't die right now i even got to i even got to my full potential it's like bro i wish he would shoot me i'll be mad as shit like bro i even blew up all the way yet i'm just now starting fucking ridiculous uh so yeah we end up getting my popeyes i'm eating this shit nigga bro it's not even that fulfilling it's like the tenders is hard as shit i'm out here chewing like <sighs> i'm feeling like like it's a bone or something in there i feel like a dog like you know how dogs they be chewing like and gnawing on bones it's like bro why am i gnawing on this it's chicken it's supposed to be like crunchy and delicious and it's just hard as shit like did you put it in there for too long is this overdone what is going on? I didn't enjoy it too much. I wish I would have kept my biscuit. I didn't keep it, bro. I was too busy getting full up on them nasty ass tenders that feel like cinder blocks. But yeah, bro, that was basically the time about how what's called Williams got into a fight at Popeyes. It was so crazy. It wasn't even that serious, bro. Like that's straight negativism. Why are you about to fight at a chicken spot? That is like negativism. That is niggatry. Like. That's something niggas do, like, that's just ignorance. Like, why are you fighting at a chicken spot? Listen, all I came here to do is get my chicken. I'm sitting there confused as shit. He, I, he thinking that, he thinking that my mom brought me in to fight him. Real deal, I just came here to get my food. That's all I was coming here for. I come here to fight you, uh, big fella. I came here to get my food. No, if you try to fight my mom, that's a different story. Uh, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta protect my mom. That's just me. Like, nobody's finna swing on my mother. I'm, just, I'm sorry it's like you can't do that now i don't know how he got the job acting like this like if you act like this bro like customer service like did you lie to them did you tell them like you had good customer service this is not good customer service niggas do not just pop out trying to fight <sighs> come on bro straight nigga tree but uh yeah mini story time make sure you like subscribe comment you know is that it like subscribe comment and share share the vid you know i made you laugh i had to and if i didn't make you laugh well I at least you know i sparked your eyes because my nice looks it's like how couldn't i you know <laughs> bro i'm so fine as i'm fine as hell bro make an edit about me uh but yeah that concludes the vid